I'm in my kitchen today and you might be wondering why. Because after all, you're like, wait, I follow you for stock market and investing education. So what are you what are you talking about? Well, I've read a lot of comments lately online about the cost of food. No one can afford to eat anymore and everything is so expensive. So I'm gonna share with you a recipe that is very, very cheap and you probably have a lot of stuff in your house already. And yes, this is a salad. And yes, I'm gonna give credit to the bean lady because this is a dense bean salad and you might've seen those videos, but I haven't seen too many people make a video on a dense bean salad, but breaking down the cost. Yeah, I'm gonna leave some stuff out like Dijon mustard and olive oil because I just assume that everyone probably has these in their home. We're gonna be talking about, about the big stuff, the beans, stuff like this. This can, hold on, $2.89 for this. Six grams of protein per serving. Eat this whole can, you'll be, you'll be doing all right. And we've got some chickpeas. This can was 99 cents. 99 cents and low sodium. Good for your health. Drain and rinse both. Throw them in your bowl. Don't forget to recycle. This is what we have so far, chickpeas, butter beans. That's the base. Oh man, I got some shit on my shirt already. Now this onion is $1.27. This looks like the one from the picture. You just start throwing shit in. These are sun-dried tomatoes. Maybe you want to cut them up, but in they go. This jar was $5.69, but you're not gonna use the whole jar. You're just gonna take a couple. If you like capers, put in some capers. Bam, you could even put in two tablespoons. Capers, 239. What about olives? I'm a big fan of olives. If you don't like olives, you don't need to leave a comment going, oh, you ruined it by putting in the olives. Just don't put in the olives. By the way, that jar, a little pricey, 769. Get cheaper olives if you want, I don't care. And here's how it's all starting to come together. It looks pretty good. Now, one time I was making the salad and I wanted some feta cheese, but I didn't have any feta cheese, but I did have this jar of green peppers with feta cheese. Now this jar was like seven bucks, so it was a little expensive, so I'm not gonna use it today, but luckily today I do have some feta still left over. That feta was $7.49, but like I said, I didn't use it all at once, I have some leftovers. Just kidding, I'm not, nah. Mm. Now I wanted some herbs in the salad, but I didn't wanna pay for them, so I just kinda stole them from my neighbor's garden, just pinch them off, throw in a couple pieces. Don't tell my neighbor. And this is how we're looking so far. And now we're gonna make the dressing, keep it simple. Whatever Dijon mustard you have, whatever vinegar you have, red wine, white wine, balsamic, doesn't matter, olive oil, I got the big boy. Also like a little bit of honey in my dressing. It's getting hot in here. How is it getting hot? I'm making a salad. Oh, and I like a little lemon as well. If you like garlic, you can put some in the dressing too. Don't forget to season your dressing with salt and pepper, aren't these cute? The great thing about this recipe is that it's fully customizable. If you don't like sun-dried tomatoes, don't put them in. If you don't like feta cheese, put in shredded mozzarella, put in whatever you want. This is a salad dressing. If you have a chicken thigh in your fridge or a piece of salmon left over, or even just some hamburgers to have on the side, you got some protein, although I don't think you really need it because you got so much from the chickpeas and the butter beans. Just put the dressing in. And here we have it, the finished product. Depending on what you already have in your home, you can make this whole salad for just a couple of bucks. Mmm. It's really good.